Thank you for joining me for another Crested Gecko video on the Azanthic gene. I know I haven't done a ton of videos, I've just been working on growing out my animals and taking care of everything on the day-to-day -day basis, and now that, you know, my, my girl singularity is getting a little bit bigger and we're getting farther along with the project, I figured I'd do an update video. In this video, I really want to be more uh, educational. I've already written some articles uh, last year but this I'm hoping will be a little bit more visual or at least have me talking through it to kind of help you. One of the biggest or the most common messages that we get on our Method Noir Exotics uh, Facebook page is about genetics and specifically the Asianthic gene and inheritance. So here I am, I found a really cool, let me get to it here, uh, Punnett Square. Uh, and I did a little screen cap, and it's on sciencepriMer.com. I'm not associated with it in any way, but I just really wanted to share it because somebody spent the time to do this, and it's really nice and simple interface. If you pair a 100% het to a 100% het, so het being a heterozygous, so it is has one dominant allele and one recessive allele, the recessive allele being axanthic, it is a carrier. The, the parents in this case are a carrier, but they do not display the recessive gene. So a dominant gene will always display over recessive, and because axanthic is recessive, that's how you create hets. So if you pair two hets together, this Punnett square, you have a 25% chance of producing an animal that has nothing to do with the azeanthic gene. It is going to be two dominant alleles. You have a 50% chance of producing 100% hets, so non-visual allele carriers for azeanthic. And then you have a 25% chance of producing a visual azeanthic, which is a like two recessive alleles. Now, this is where people seem to get a little bit confused, is when you take a 100% het to a 100% het, the animals that it produces that are not visual azanthics are called 66% hets or 66% pos hets. Now what that means is that there is a two in three chance that the animal is a 100% carrier. So with the azanthic gene, there is not a, oh, it's a partial carrier. No, it either is or it isn't. That's why it's a non-het or it's a 100% het. The 66% is specifically when two het animals are put together. The two in three chance that the animal will carry the recessive gene and be a 100% het. Now, where the 50% pos het comes into play is when you breed a 100% het to a non-het, so an animal that does not carry any of the recessive allele. That is where you get a 50%. So you have a 1 in 2 chance of the animal carrying the recessive gene. But if you just use websites like the Science Primer here and you just you work with it a little bit and then you can refer back to my key, it really helps to just write it out and solidify it in your mind. And like I said, if you have any questions, I'd be more than happy to, you know, answer your messages. Just just hit me up. And as always, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you, uh, you t taking the time and, and, and listening to me. I wanted to do more of a visual video with more B-roll rather than a talking head because, well, my talking head is not that interesting. But let me know in the comments uh, it, what you want to see, if you have any more questions. Um, and as always, please like and share. The more people that get to see this, the more knowledge there is in the community and awareness of these really amazing animals.